291 games in 10 days. <laughs> 20 hours of streaming a day, 4 hours of sleep a night, eating like shit, microwave burgers that I ate cold, dog shit snacks here and there, taking enough caffeine to kill a fucking elephant for that. For Challenger. Challenger Korea. But even though we might have hit Challenger, it's not done yet. No, 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 no. Because the thing is, when I came to Korea, it wasn't just with the goal of hitting Challenger. It was with the goal of proving that I am the best heck in the fucking world. Now we have another challenge, Chad. Because sure, we might have hit Challenger. But then you're going to have those people who are like, Ah oh, yeah, but he played 300 games. So you know what? Fuck those people! How about I sit here and I go on a new account? And you try for unranked and challenger with the highest win rate ever out of any Western player. And how about we go for two challenger accounts, not just one! They said that I'd be Hardsa Grandmaster, I'll get two child accounts! And then when I sit there, and I have my two child accounts, and when I sit there, and I'm shitting on pros every game, then I'll push for rank one. And then we'll go, and we'll do the most demonic fucking run of all time. Because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the Korea trip's only fucking beginning. My flight back is not scheduled for another three weeks. And you know what? I just might extend it! Another two! Because I still have something to prove. Challenger, it's nice, but it's not enough! It's never enough! be higher rank, you can always have a higher win rate, you can always be better at the game, have better understanding. And this is only the first step.